Hi, I'm Kurt Kale and I'm representing Malta in this year's Eurovision Song Contest. You are watching Eurovision.tv. I've always been into music. Um, as a kid, I always used to be in some sort of choir or something related to music or the stage. Uh, however, when I st and obviously when I was a kid also I used to listen to all these Westlife and Backstreet Boys cassettes and I used to sing along to all of them. So I've always loved music. Um, but as I was growing up, I sort of took it a, a lot more serious when I, uh, when I turned 16 or 17, when I started actually vocal training. Um, obviously, during the time I was doing a job, I was studying to become a chef, and I did that for a couple of years. But when I decided to take music uh, more seriously, I took a day job, which is promoting alternative energy, greener energy. Um, Obviously now with the Eurovision and everything, it's become my full-time job, but I still do part-time uh, promote alternative energy. It was a very close run thing in the national selection when you beat Claudia Faniello, but the public televote placed you as number one. How did that, how did that make you feel to be the public's first choice? Oh, it's an amazing feeling. I mean, an artist does what he does because they want to please an audience. And if the audience was actually pleased, and that's why they actually voted for us. Um, it's an amazing feeling, it's a beautiful feeling. You know, it's just, no words can actually describe it. We've been invited to, we've been very lucky to be invited to Azerbaijan actually already. We've performed in the final, in their national final. Uh, we've also been to Lithuania, Bulgaria, uh, Turkey and Georgia. Every place we've been, have been very hospitable with us. Um, it was great when I was in Azerbaijan singing alongside last year's winners, El and Nikki. Um, every country we've been to, we met the representative of, uh, of their country in the Eurovision. And that is obviously an amazing feeling as well. You know, get to meet other artists who are in the same competition, make new friends. Um, we almost lost our flight when we were in Turkey. That was really scary, actually, because we had a very pressing appointment the next day and... Uh, you know, had we lost it, we would have missed the whole thing. But yeah, it's been fun. It's been quite an adventure. And the feedback is quite positive. I mean, we're receiving a lot of messages from uh, people from the countries we've been in saying, I like your song and we're dancing along to it and stuff like that. It's an amazing feeling. Which countries have you been to so far? Uh, we've been to Azerbaijan, Bulgaria, Lithuania, um, Turkey and Georgia, actually. We were the rock and roll kids. Rock and roll was all we did. Listening to those songs on the radio. When we entered the Eurovision, obviously we had just our own resources as a band. You know, I mean, obviously they're very limited. Now that we have the, the Maltese broadcasting television station backing us up, uh, obviously the resources are a lot wider and the sound in the studio, the music and stuff like that is a lot wider and more realistic. Um, uh, obviously the addition of Amber to the team is, is a very positive thing. Amber is a very headstrong person, she's got a very strong voice, a beautiful stage presence and obviously that adds, uh, every time you add something good to the team. So yeah, I mean, we've had uh, a lot of discussions, what we're going to add, what we're going to remove and we're finally at a stage where the product that we have is actually really something we like. I was yours and you were mine. That was once upon a time. Now we never seem to rock and roll anymore. Malta's Biggest Dance, actually, the, the concept of it, I guess, is to unite the concept of it. You know, you get people from different ideas, different uh, backgrounds coming there to dance. Um, sharing a lot of positive energy. In fact, when I went on the stage, I could just feel an air of positive energy on the stage. The idea was actually suggested by my dad, although he doesn't admit it. But it obviously then was backed up by, by Where's Everybody and PBS. And they created an event which uh, obviously was a great success. I was a bit scared that not a lot of people would come for two reasons. One, obviously, I'm quite a new artist. And second of all, um, uh, the weather wasn't in the morning wasn't showing us that it was going to be a beautiful day, but it actually turned out to be a nice sunny day. And we had over 
six to seven thousand people there, so it was quite a success actually. So what was the feeling there? On oh, the, the feeling quite positive, very positive. The nice energy. You could hear the people sing the song, which is every artist's dream. You know, hopefully we get more of those. <laughs> hopefully it spreads more around Europe. <laughs> If you see the performance we did in Malta, um, it's going to be on the same lines, I guess. Uh, the only difference is that obviously we had just a couple of weeks to prepare when we were doing the Maltese entry, whereas now we've had three months to prepare for it. So it's going to be on the same lines, but it's going to be a bit more dynamic. Um, gonna, if you actually see the Maltese performance and the performance we're going to do on the night, there's going to be lots of things which are similar. But um, it's going to be things, obviously, which have been fine-tuned, I guess. Oh, well, if I can do it, then you can do it for sure. It's very easy. You just need to practice a bit, though. So, all you have to do is keep your feet straight first, okay? And we always start to the right. So we're always doing, you start this way, okay? So you put one, the right foot on the heel, like this, okay? And the left foot has to be like this, all right? So you're gonna do them together. When you get the balance like that, when you balance yourself out, then you just open like this. So you do a V, okay? Very easy. First, you, so you have to practice that. And then, to continue it, you do the same thing, but everything in the opposite. So if the right foot was on the heel and the left foot is on the toe, you're gonna switch, okay? And you do it the other way around. So you, then you're gonna point to the left and back. In order to practice, first you do the, to the right and back, left and back. So the right foot is on the heel, left foot on the toe, right, back, regular, you know, everything on the ground. You switch, so from this position you're going to do this position, and to the left and back. That's how you practice. One, two, one, two. The better you start doing that, then it's going like... <laughs> Thank you very much, and I'll uh, see you in Baku with the song This Is the Night. <laughs>